On this Debaco University video, we're going to go over how to identify and control thrips on your cannabis plants. Well, if you've ever seen damage like this on your leaves and flip it over and look very carefully, you might find small insects that look like this, and these are thrips. In this video, we're going to go over how to identify them and control them on your cannabis plants. So first off, the description of uh, thrips. We can just see kind of how small they actually are. Half a millimeter is this bar size, really, really small. There's at least two species of thrips that are regularly associated with outdoor grown hemp. The onion thrips and the western flower thrips are considered to be the two of concern. Onion thrips have been shown to reduce yields in indoor growing cannabis as well. So I don't think if you're just growing indoors, you're free of this particular pest. Both are very small insects uh, with an elongated body, typically about 1.2 to 1.5 millimeters in length. This is only about uh, 1 1 15th of an inch in length. Very, very small. So typically we're using kind of a loop to kind of go through and identify them. Uh, this gives you an idea of uh, zoomed in how they look. This is kind of your textbook image of how they look right here for identification purposes. Now when we're looking at kind of looking at the plant itself, well, we're seeing this kind of stippling here of the leaves. It's kind of like damage, almost like someone like rubbed a little portion of that leaf off. Sometimes uh, the feces can also be seen in small little black dots, and using blue sticky traps can help make a positive identification. So here we're seeing um, blue being used, sometimes a little bit more advised over yellow for certain insects, uh, but something here just to uh, consider uh, having maybe multiple colors up for your um, able to go through and screen the area for thrips to identify them, but hopefully before you see damage to the plants. So if you do see the image of the plants, how do you go about managing them? Well, neem oil can be used, but watch for potential phytotoxicity to the plants, as well as final taste and smell impacts, especially applied later in the flowering cycle. Pyrethrins is an insecticide. Be sure to check your current local regulations and also watch applying it late in the season. Insecticidal soap or is a general insect control product, and there's also natural predators, which are best used when plants are in flower to avoid potential negative impacts to the final plant product. Getting those established uh, before the thrips do gives you a leg up and ensures that the thrips numbers will be kept to a minimum, and hopefully also any threat of plant damage also will be kept to a minimum.